I love games! Shadow Generations is a game chock full of shortcuts and alternate pathways. Some are meant to be taken and can shave a couple of seconds off your time, while others allow you to skip huge chunks, allowing you to shave off more than just a few seconds. Today, I'm going to show you one of those skips in this video, one that you can pull off at the very start of the game. Space Colony Arc Act 1 So you'll run through this level as you normally would, until you get to this part right here. Normally, you would take one of those several pathways up there to get you to the other side. But what if there was a faster way to get to that other side? Let me show you how. Get a good running start, press the boost button, double jump, press the boost button again, and if you did it right, you should be able to stick the landing. It's amazing that you can pull this off just with Shadow's core abilities alone. And Chaos Spear has you covered for that extra momentum. Just spam the triangle button. Even better, and spoiler warning for those who haven't finished this game yet, you can use the Doom Wings to make this a breeze. Just jump or double jump and hold the boost button to fly in the air. Voila, you just skipped that section entirely. Combine that with the perfect use of Chaos Control and you just shaved more than five seconds off your time. Sunset Heights Act 1 has a couple of skips that you can pull off. First off, collect all of these 20 rings. Once you reach this hill, jump and land on one of these red dash rings. They'll propel you forward, and at the end, you'll collect these three major rings that give you 10 rings each. That gives you a total of 50 rings, the exact amount you need to activate the Doom Wings. After activating them, all you gotta do is hold the boost button and fly across this section. It's as simple as that. You can even do this little trick right here that allows you to avoid these water spouts while also giving you enemies to attack to fill your chaos control meter. This next shortcut comes a little later in the level when this giant robot is flinging rubble at you. You'll collect a capsule that automatically refills your chaos control meter. Activate it at just the right moment and you'll have a path of rubble that you can homing attack onto. It'll lead you right onto this alternate pathway. And that's just the tip of the iceberg for shortcuts. These next ones that I'm going to show you are truly game changing. Kingdom Valley Act 1 is one of the best levels in Shadow Generations. There are tons of alternate pathways and shortcuts that Shadow can access. But with the Doom Wings, you can take them to the next level. Let me show you how. At the start of the level, there's a skip that you can pull off right here. Normally, you would have to jump on those wires right there. But not when you have the Doom Wings on hand. All you gotta do is do a quick jump, hold down the boost button, and off you go. Just keep on flying up until you reach these enemies. While you could just fly past them to get to the other side, I would recommend attacking them. If only so you can fill up your chaos control meter. That way you can do this nice additional skip right here. The next skip I'm going over happens later in the level. Bounce up those wires and homing attack the enemies that are in your path. Get to this platform right here. Boost and jump at the same time. Then press the boost button again and hold it to fly. Continue to hold it as you make your way over to that water section. Guess what? You just skipped a major chunk of the level. A similar skip can be achieved after this grind rail section later in the level. Once the red dash ring propels you forward, spam the chaos spear button to launch yourself even further. Then hold the boost button to fly all the way over to that rainbow dash ring once again, another major chunk of the level skipped. And finally, the biggest skip of all. At this point in the level, you're supposed to hang on to that bald eagle that'll take you over to this downward path. Well, with those doom wings on, you don't need an eagle to fly. You are the one that can fly. Hold the boost button to fly and head over to the roof of that building right over there. Land on any part of it you choose. You'll want to wait a bit for your boost gauge to replenish. Once the gauge is refilled, get a jumping start and fly over to that water section over there. But wait, there's bars blocking it. How can Shadow possibly get through there? Fortunately, they didn't put an invisible wall over here, and the bars have just enough space between them for Shadow to squeeze his way in. And there you have it. One of, if not the biggest skip in Shadow Generations. If you want to see more Shadow Generations tips and tricks, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and be sure to hit that notification bell to be updated on all the latest Sponge Sonic uploads.